This is a series of concluding videos about the hidden book, the Apocrypha. This is an outline of, and studies and conclusions that I have about the two visions. Um, I studied this out in August of 2017 and posted things between August and September of 2017, but I haven't posted this audio version. Um, until today. So, The Hidden Book, The Apocrypha, Conclusions from Studying the Two Visions. These conclusions are from studying the two visions of Ellen White on the Apocrypha, Prophecy, and Last Day Events. These visions were dated September 23, 1849 and January 11, 1850. Reminders about previously shared data on the first vision, September 23, 1849. This vision was unpublished and not released to the public until 2014. Although there were parts of it that were put into statements of Ellen White that were placed in 15MR and 16MR previously. Um, the complete visions are also found in MS uh, 5, 1, 15, 18, 49, and 1, EGWLM uh, 181.4 to 185.3. So you can look those up in the, at the Ellen White uh, Estate website. Um, this vision occurred in Topshin, Maine at Brother Curtis's home and appears to have been written by someone who was recording Ellen White's statements while in vision. And it appears to have a few remarks or edits from Ellen White afterwards. There were three women who signed this document as witnesses to the vision. And previously, uh, per the Ellen White estate, um, they documented that Ellen White held up the Bible when speaking in vision and stated that the Apocrypha was not in this Bible, and only the Curtis family, those in his household, knew this fact. Um, however, now that this is published in 2014, we have this statement found in MS 51849.7. Taking the large Bible containing the Apocrypha in parentheses, and Ellen White proceeded to speak about this. So there's an apparent contradiction in, the, in these statements. Um, we also find in well, 1 Bile 92.2 that the large family Bible in the White home had the Apocrypha in this Bible. When we Google the distance between this home and the Topshin main home, we it would have been, by our current roads, a distance of 22 miles by car. So logically, this trip likely would have taken at least a day by horse or carriage in 1849. So we're going to review the sixth paragraph of the first vision found in MS 5, 1849, paragraph 6. Putting the Bible on Augustus Dole. Study it, study it, take it. Believe it, walk out on it, the word of God, faith, the book of books, the all-seeing eye. This sentence speaks for itself, highlighting the value and importance of the Bible. Uh, second point, tremble before the Lord of hosts. Look ye, the mind has been filled, it has been engrossed with trash. Cast it off, bear it away. Placed where this is in this paragraph, the application would appear to be that anything that takes away from the Bible, our personal walk from, with God and faith in Him is trash. We live in a world where this applies to the very air we breathe and to the atmosphere around us. Point number three, walk carefully before thy God. Keep thine eyes steady upon thy God. Faith, 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 faith faith. We are called to walk carefully with eye fixed upon God and faith. This is a wonderful paragraph coming from the previous paragraph or after the previous paragraph about the ending last day events with the persecution 
time we can't buy or sell in the death decree. This paragraph sh we should be practicing now. Point four, take it as the man of thy counsel. Take it as a hammer, a fire. It will consume the dross. It will consume the tin. Too much trash, cast it out. This sentence closes this paragraph as it began, highlighting the cleansing work that the Word of God does, calling attention to the Bible. Point five, notice in this paragraph how the word faith is said five times, which is symbolically linking it with the five wise virgins in Matthew 24. So, at the seventh paragraph of the first vision, point number one, taking the large Bible containing the Apocrypha, pure and undefiled, a part of it is consumed. Holy, holy, walk carefully, tempted. So, uh, the word consumed in Webster's 1828 dictionary means wasted, wasted, burnt up, destroyed. Dissipated, squandered, expanded, expended. Point two, the word of God, take it from Marian stole. Bind it long upon thine heart, pure and unadulterated. How lovely, how lovely, how lovely. And the word unadulterated in Webster's 1828 dictionary means not adulterated, genuine, pure, Point three, my blood, my blood, my blood, O oh, the children of disobedience, reproved, reproved, Jesus pleading three times is what this is a reference to. Point four, thy word, thy word, thy word, a part of it is burned unadulterated, a part of the hidden book, a part of it is burned, the apocrypha, burned, burned, burnt. Consumed with fire, scorched or dried with fire, or heat, baked, or hardened in the fire. Again, from Webster's Dictionary. The word apocrypha, uh, and there's two different spellings there, is from the Greek from to conceal. Literally, such things as are not published, but in an appropriate sense, books whose authors are not known whose authenticity is, as inspired writings is not admitted, and which are therefore not considered a part of the sacred canon of the scripture. When the Jews published their sacred books, they called them canat, canat, canamic, cannot, can, I can't say that word, and divine, such as they did not publish, were called apocryphal. The apocryphal books are received by the Romish church as canonical, but not by Protestants. Point five. Uh, four times there are many descriptions of the apocrypha, the hidden book, burned, consumed, unadulterated. I said three, three times it says my blood, and we'll have an Ellen White quote we're going to reference uh, in uh, the next few slides. Thy word, how lovely, and twice we have the word holy and reproved. Per the Ellen White estate, Ellen White held up the Bible when speaking in vision and stated that the Apocrypha was not in the Bible, um, not in the Bible she was holding up, That and only the Curtis's family knew this fact about that the Bible that she was holding up while in vision. Um, C16MR3, page 3, this document stated that the Apocrypha was not in the Bible and was, pu and was published by the Ellen White Estate in, 18, uh, in 1990. Uh, this statement was first written by Arthur White in 1969, but formerly formally was published uh, May 1, 1985. So, and then there's a reference also found in 15MR, page uh, 65, paragraph 1. Per the Ellen White estate, Ellen White also held up the Bible when speaking in this vision at a 45 degree angle. This is 16MR, page 3, or paragraph 3. 
Uh, some would consider 4 to 5 degrees to be symbolic of um, a connection with Jesuit or Freemason. Just pointing that out. Point eight, per the Ellen White estate, there were three witnesses, women, to this vision, who signed statements to verify this. There is no documentation found to verify that these witnesses also verified uh, that the Apocrypha was not in the Bible, as shown in 16 MR, page 3. Uh, uh, and um, But the th names of those women are listed. Um, point nine. However, the statements with words consumed, unadulterated, burned, and apocrypha, as stated by Ellen White and Vision, could be interpreted uh, that way, uh, meaning uh, that, the, that it wasn't in that Bible. Uh, number 10, and or considering the Webster's 1828 dictionary definition of these words above, there could be other meanings that no one had considered previously. Point 11, apocrypha. I was unable to find this word in the 1828 Webster's dictionary. However, it would appear from the 1828 dictionary descriptions of apocalypse, ap apocalyptic, apocalyptical, etc., that this word, sounding the same but spelled diff slightly different from apocrypha, is directly linked to the book of Revelation or to other prophetic books in the Bible. And note that Ellen White used the, this spelling of the word once. Uh, point 12. In MS 18... 49, paragraph 7, it states, taking the large book containing the Apocrypha, which could also appear to be stating that Ellen White was holding a Bible which did contain the Apocrypha while in vision, September 23, 1849. Therefore, it appears this information became hidden through the years since this vision. Remember that it was in 2014 that all of Ellen White Visions, her writings, um, including this statement, became published. Uh, point 13. My blood. See this quote from early writings, 38, uh, paragraphs 1 through 2. I saw four angels who had a work to do on the earth and were on their way to accomplish it. Jesus was clothed with priestly garments. He gazed in pity on the remnant, then raised his hands, and with a voice of deep pity cried, My blood, Father, my blood, my blood, my blood. Then I saw an exceeding bright light come from God who sat upon the great white throne and was shed all about Jesus. Then I saw an angel with a commission from Jesus swiftly flying, to the four angels who had a work to do on the earth in waving something up and down in his hand and crying with a loud voice, Hold, 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 until the servants of God are sealed in their foreheads. Next paragraph. I asked my angel, my accompanying angel, the meaning of what I heard and what the four angels were about to do. He said to me that it was God that restrained the powers and that he gave his angels charge over things on the earth, that the four angels had power from God to hold the four winds and that they were about to let them go. And while their hands were loosening and the four winds were about to blow, the merciful eye of Jesus gazed on the remnant that were not sealed. And he raised his hands to the Father and pleaded with him that he had spilled his blood for them. Then another angel was commissioned to fly swiftly to the four angels and bid them hold until the servants of God were sealed in their foreheads. Early Writings 38, paragraph 2. And then we come to um, the point, another point about the eighth paragraph. But I'm going to shut this off and come back. And we're going to be doing this in at least three different um, video clips for this study.